for us. Thanks, Dan. Well, there's really no let up. We remain in this grip of winter Arctic air, plunging temperatures the next few days, temperatures well below freezing point all day for some of us, frozen ground, frosty, icy and foggy. No new snow, but there will be lots of lying snow. The full forecast in about 25 minutes is the showbiz with Steve. Bye -bye. I wish I did, Dan. And no major snow forecast today. That's the good news. It will be quite light and patchy snow, but it will stay terribly cold, freezing cold, in fact, with frost, ice and freezing fog out there this morning. Get the detail with you in the next 25 minutes. Here's Steve with the showbiz. Thanks, Kate. Good morning. Well, it stays exceptionally cold over the next few days, at least, on the lead-up to Christmas. Temperatures plunged minus 19 in the north last night. We've got widespread frost, ice and lying snow out there this morning as well as some freezing fog patches giving some tricky driving conditions and more snow to come. The full forecast in the next 25 minutes. Here's Steve with all the showbiz. Lucy, you've got a few front pages as well, haven't um, you? Yeah, a couple of big... <laughs> people in Cumbria, wasn't it, yes, Lucy? They so would have woken up and wondered what on earth was going on. A bit of a shock, I think, yes. An earthquake was reported up in Cumbria around 11 o'clock last night, so after my bedtime, but not for many other people. I think it took most people by surprise, about 3.5 on the Richter scale. We don't think of this country having earthquakes, no. do we? No, but we do. We do get a few. Actually, the same area had an earthquake around about 3.7 on the Richter scale last April. Yeah. And before then, it, it was, they hadn't had an earthquake of any significance since the 1800s. But apparently, we get around 50 to 60 tremors on average a year. That's nearly one a week. Mm. But That's around only one in 10 is felt by the public. So yeah. I think it depends whether it hits an urban area or not, or whether okay. it's offshore or inland, that sort of thing. We want to know what you went through. I wish there was, Dan. No end in sight. For the next few days at least, it stays bitterly cold, cutting northeasterly winds, adding a wind chill. Significant snow again today to coincide with the morning rush hour through central Britain. The full forecast in about 25 minutes. Here's Steve.